Oh, Reese. As soon as I hit record. Okay. So, uh, this isn't going to be like a full video, but I'm going to do a haul from Home Depot. So, a little backstory. I, I have been um, decorating these bottles, upcycling these bottles for um, my upcoming wedding ceremony. And I've been upcycling them, spray painting them. So, I need more spray paint. Let, let me show you. Let me, Still there? Okay. All right, so this is what upcycling is. Basically, turning trash into treasure, which I love doing. It's kind of cathartic. I don't know. It's very pleasing, very satisfying. This was a wine bottle. This is almond. You can see it's like kind of drip. So it's a lot of, there are a lot of imperfections on these, but I'm not aiming for perfect because I mean, I like it to look a little rough around the edges. And this is an example of what the, so it's, it's a little more textured. There's something weird going on with this paint, but ended up being kind of cool. I, I ended up getting, uh, like correcting it and getting the gunk out. I think it was some air that got in it. So it created this rough texture, which I went ahead and painted over it. And it's a little, but, um, yeah, I'm gonna have these little poppies, some pompous. Um, I think I have one with, I have faux, all these are faux flowers. These are gonna be part of the decor, decor. The centerpieces at the, cere the reception, uh, cause we already had the ceremony, so the reception. Um, now this is like, this is almond as well, but um, I'm also going with the colors like copper, a textured copper, um, rose gold, um, plum, because the colors are like plum, burgundy, and like little accent metal colors. <laughs> so this is rose gold. Of course, this is a crown bottle. And it's a little, like it's a tiny bit transparent. Yeah, it's like a little transparent still. But I mean, it's not really going to matter. These, this is also going to have little stems in there. And this bottle, each table is going to have about five, I believe. One, two, yeah, I think I did like five. Um, this one is a gold, the metallic gold. So it's very imperfect. You can see where I was. Actually, this is gold and copper because I think I was running out of the copper. But I made a cool little gradient situation in there. And um, not mad at it. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that on purpose next time. And so I went to Home Depot so I could get some more paints. And I ended up getting colors that were very different. Um, so this is the Rustolum. Now, initially for my plum painted bottles, I ended up painting it with acrylic paints. And it added, it was nice, they were, they were smaller. A uh, little mini vases and bottles, and it added it added like some texture to it because it was hand painted with paint brushes. Um, I didn't even use sponge brushes; I used paint brushes, which made me have to do several coats. Which is why I switched to this. Oh, the same color. Okay, this is a little darker, but I catch my drift. I still haven't used it. It's really strong shouldn't be shouldn't be just smelling it um it's good on wood metal plastic and more fast driving <laughs> fast drying indoor and outdoor so you're really using a full on there you know what i'm saying oh i'm 
so excited i love painting things and this is the exact same one i got last time this is the hammered copper and i love how rest of them has like the texture that's different like that so um this one compared to where's the other one i have like a metallic gold oh See how shiny this one is? So they really give you like the textures so you can get a feel of what your project's gonna turn out looking like. Which, I love it. <laughs> and now I could not find rose gold. Apparently, rose gold is always sold out. Like whenever I go to Home Depot or I also went to Hobby Lobby, sold out, like it was, mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, one time online it was sold out like come on uh crafters <laughs> let me leave me some please leave me something um this is the closest i got which this is actually um what kind of finish of this it says a shiny finish so it's not like metallic like the gold see how shiny the metallic is but this is supposed to be copper, but it looks like rose gold. So I'm excited to see what it looks like because I mean, all it's, all it's saying right now is um, metallic finish. Like, I'm, this better not be clear. Oh, I'd be so mad. I'd be like, what? You know, I didn't even test it. Um, okay, so <laughs> time out. When you are going to a store and you're trying things, can you be aware of people that are also in your space? Like, why am I? I'm on this shelf. I'm looking at things on the shelf. All of a sudden, I hear the sprays, like spraying <laughs> right next to me. And I, I start smelling the strong smell of spray paint. And I look. And there's a couple right next like right next to me and they're spraying like this box this stand that's in the middle of the aisle which that's not what it's meant for of course and i'm like okay in my head i'm like that's rude but i look down i look at them and i'm just like i turn around and then i mean they stop i guess they realize like you know they're being kind of rude i mean i get trying to test the products but come on sis like you could have a bit more sneaky with it like go somewhere else not near me like am i like what was you thinking like next time y'all need y'all need to be thinking about stuff like that because you know christmas like me eyeballing you looking at you crazy all right i'm gonna think uh -huh, to more exciting things okay so i went to home depot for paint and I did get paint, but I also got some other things that I wanted slash needed. Okay, so I recently I recently became a plant mom, right? <laughs> um, well, I wouldn't say recently. I would say a couple years ago during the freeze. Um, my fiddle leaf fern died. My mom gifted that to my husband and I, and it died because I left her outside. Her name was Fernasia, R.I.P. Um, but yeah, now we're moving on. I was at Home Depot and I found this beautiful plant. It's a tropical plant. Get the shine. So I went to Home Depot, I found this beautiful plant. Okay, y'all. Oh, look, oh, look at the colors. Now, she needs rescuing. The soil is so dry, like, I should ask for a discount. That's what I should've did. But she was $4.98, so I was like, well, it's good enough, I guess. 
but I probably should have got half off or something like should be like if the plant's dying but I mean she still looks salvageable hopefully but look at these pretty colors like oh now I get to nurture her and grow her <laughs> it's a okay okay a petra croton 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 hi there friends call me petra croton my full name is codium i'm from south india see that yeah so also bought a pot that she would be growing in you know, once I put the soil in there, she's going to sit in there real nice. Hopefully, she'll be like something like this. And then her roots can like get busy. You know what I'm saying? And then, also got another one. And got these drip pans, of course. Boom. Um, And I decided to go with terracotta last time. The last time I got was a huge black pot for the fern. And it had some issues um, as far as like... I mean, I get into it right now, but um, I, I decided to get this because I do think they're cuter, more aesthetic, and I get to paint them. I think the paint would take more to this, um, and not even the spray paint. I'm actually going to be using acrylic paint so I can do the designs on them. Like, I'm thinking something colorful, like this upcycled bottle that I did. Like, can you see the vision? Hey. So I'm gonna do something like that. Like maybe I'll do some mandala art painting with it. Not really sure. Um, but I think it's worth a try. Maybe I'll have to design something. Like sketch it out first. But I'm not sure. I could probably hop on Twitch. Give me a Twitch. And then we could talk about it and discuss, you know, what I should do. Yeah. And I got my first pair of gardening gloves because I keep on getting my hands really dirty whenever I um, pot and repot a plant. Oh, oh, I also, oh, oh, All right, y'all, for some reason I'm thinking, oh, you know what, they're probably outside on the balcony. <laughs> I'm like, I know I got some more seeds. Okay, so these seeds I actually got from Whole Foods. I got the dill seeds. You can see what they look like. I got these because it says they attract butterflies. <laughs> so I wanna attract some butterflies um, and see how it goes. I don't really care for the way they, the flowers look that much. What? Not really a super flower girl. I like fake peonies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then I love the green leafy plants. So if y'all ever want to give me something, green leafy plants. Mm -hmm. If they make them in the mail. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Oh, and I've got some potty mix because I'm out. We have the kind of regular potting mix. Oh, and it's, um, it looks like it's a very forgiving one because it says protect against over and under watering. <laughs> so I'm not really sure. I don't remember. Oh, this is moisture control. Miracle growth. Feeds up to six months. Plants, plants grow twice as big. It's on there. Just reading the advertising. Yeah. Um, so let's see. I don't remember the last kind of potting mix I got. It looks similar, but at the same time, I'm thinking the bag was all green, so 
could have been a different brand, but I mean, the potty mix worked great, actually. Um, it was just my fault. <laughs> it was my fault. It was my, my fault. The reason why that plant died. So, you know, anyway, we'll keep it moving. <laughs> um, but I am going to try to plant these. Um, I do have an ivy plant, a plethos plant that's at my job. And that's the reason why I got two of these, two of these terracotta pots, two of these terracotta pots, because I need to move over one of those plants. I need to, well, actually both of them. So I have them in two blast drives. You know, I'm, I'll probably insert a picture here. Um, I need to, they've, they've grown a lot of roots and so now it's trying time to transfer them into soil. I've been looking at a lot of videos. I'm not an expert or anything, <laughs> but I watch a lot of um, plant mommy videos. And so that's how I learned how to propagate. Um, I have a friend who clips, um, you know, little stems and little parts off so that I could have it and propagate it and grow my own type of plant. Um, cause her mother plant is big and beautiful. Like imagine a pot, a, like a whole pot of ivy plant hanging in the corner, right? And then where those lights are, those were all the strands and like, it was really beautiful. It was really beautiful. And those are my hopes and dreams for my plant, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I think the ivy plant is thriving in the sun. Um... So I'm thinking she might really want to be outside. I'm just kind of nervous about overwatering her. So um, what I might do is, I don't know, get a table or something, put it on a table or a chair outside, or just have her inside by the window. Let me know what you think I should do. But that's my idea. I also got this thing called the hummingbird because I was going to get a huge garden pail, like a ginormous green one. Um, I thought this was cute because, I mean, it's blue and I feel like it'll be easier to paint. <laughs> I'm going to try to do some designs on here too. Um, yeah, it's a hummingbird water can. And you just... I think this will be very helpful because I often, I've really been, I've been watering my plants using like mason jars and like just random anything to put water in, but this spout is going to help me a lot. So I get to boop, boop, get in between the leaves. And then if I have my spray bottle, I can just spray the leaves when I need it. And, um... Uh, yeah, that's about it. I think I'm gonna also record a video on my project, how to see if I could do my project that I'm working on okay enough because it's also gonna be a centerpiece. So basically I've been working on two different kinds of centerpieces because one of them is like one kind of centerpieces. Well, here's the thing. I have 20 tables. And I'm gonna have five different wait, hold on. Math. Um, oh, okay. I'm gonna <laughs> Okay, I have 20 tables. I'm gonna have four different kinds of centerpieces. Alright, so you have bottles together. And then you have where I'm gonna do like a hoop centerpiece. And then I'm gonna do like the floating tea light centerpieces. Maybe because that's that was a little too expensive. To me, it's like for no reason. And I don't keep, I mean, I could probably gift them to somebody. Anyways, I'm thinking about that one. It may or may not happen. It might train, turn into something else. Not sure. <laughs> or I might just do more of what I have. Um, and then I also have a lantern one, which is really cute. I have five lanterns already. I just need to buy another pillar candle, candle like an electric pillar candle. And um, that's gonna turn out beautiful. I'm gonna also pop a picture of that one right here, um, just so you guys can take a look at my models that I've done. Um, and then basically I have to get more of these peonies at the local warehouse that has um, 
a lot of these in stock and you know they you can buy them wholesale so it's um you, you save a little bit of money that way so that's gonna be the end of this video um thanks for tuning in you guys and uh, i hope you enjoy listening to me rant and rave about plants and art projects today uh, i hope you come back again and watch me create